Hello again, my delightfully evil little bumblebees. It is I, Philip Magnus, your host. And this is Gaming Now, or Gaming News, depends on how I've named it, really. It's probably Gaming Now, but the title says Gaming News, so don't EF, Philip. I know, I know. I'm awful. The game in the background is once again Age of Wonders 3, which I'm revisiting for no particular reason, other than, you know, sheer and bloody enjoyment. It's a lot of fun, honestly. Our first piece of news is a most joyous one. Overwatch, the multiplayer shooter by our beloved Blizzard, or at least mine, is going to come out on May the 24th, which is really, really good and earlier than expected originally. The game was slated to come out in June, but now, well, it appears Blizzard are happy enough with the beta and its development, so they will release it earlier. This is really, really good. Why? Because Overwatch looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. If you pre-ordered the game, now or at any point before the 3rd of May, you're going to get in the beta. The beta originally is going to be from the 5th until the 9th of May, but if you pre-order, you'll gain access on the 3rd, so that's two extra days of playtime for you pre-order nutbags. In the open beta, players will have the opportunity to play all 21 heroes and will experience the intense action, tactical depth and vibrant world of Overwatch prior to the game's release. That is the statement by Blizzard. The punchline of this whole thing? Battleborn Epic's own hero shooter game is going to debut on the 3rd of May, which means that we are going to have a conflict of interest. And I'm sure Blizzard could not be more overjoyed. I for one am very excited for Overwatch, it looks good, the beta is on a very serious technical level with almost no issues that I, as someone who hasn't actually played but only watched it, can see. The only problem I so far have is the, well, kind of large weapon models. I think that Blizzard would do well to cut down the percent of screen space that they are taking currently. Other than that, from what I know and from what I've seen, the game looks pretty damn finished. Alas, today was also a day of sadness. Why? Because Lionhead Studios, the developers of the once great Fable series, have closed down doors, and Fable Legends, which was supposed to be a 4 vs 1 multiplayer game, is has now ceased development, which is kind of sucky, it looked like it was pretty damn close to being finished. I know, I know, none of us actually wanted Fallout Legends, uh, Fallout Fable Legends, but still, a game so close to being finished, kind of sad to see it go. I would have been curious to at least see what could have been. Of course, by far the more unpleasant piece of news coming out of this is that all the employees of Lionhead Studios are going to now, you know, not have jobs anymore. I wish them luck and hope that they actually manage to find jobs as quickly as possible. It's a tough market out there, but they seem like a talented lot and maybe they will find a job in better companies with better track records. One is to hope, anyway, right? Microsoft didn't only close down Landhead Studios, they also closed down the Dutch Press Play Studios in Denmark. Well, I did say they were Dutch, so you could have guessed that much. In Microsoft's official statement, they say that Press Play imbued the industry with a unique creative spirit behind games like Max, The Curse of Brotherhood and Kalimba, which both captured passionate fans. Sadly, now that Press Play is out of commission, we will never see anything good come out of their gates again. 
The reasons stated for the closing of both these studios is due to Microsoft states the continued focus in investments and development of the games and franchises that fans find most exciting and want to play the most. I have to disagree and call a bit of crap on that one because honestly gamers don't want to only see Halo games and the like and these are indeed the main portfolio of Microsoft, correct? Also Forza and all that crap. The point is they are closing capable talented studios that housed good developers and that is indeed a pity for everyone involved except perhaps Microsoft because we all know Microsoft have sold their souls to the devil. No? They haven't? Oh. At least I'm glad to see that they haven't shut down Remedy yet, which is working on Quantum Break as we speak. And another piece of news, it appears that Remedy is still in talks about Alan Wake 2. In case you won't recall, the original Alan Wake came out in 2010 and is a pretty good horror game, a pretty good thriller. Alan Wake managed to create a fantastic world of fictional horror in which you play as the eponymous writer. The Finnish studios desired to make a follow-up to the Xbox game, which later came out on Steam as well, has been an open secret for years, with some trademarking happening last week, if I recall. Yes, it appears that Remedy have actually trademarked Alan Wake Returns, and I really, really hope that is a very promising sign for the return of this very awesome character. I would love to step into his shoes once again and take command of Alan Wake and fight against these demons of the night and darkness that we fought against during the last game. But yeah, I would have to guess that if there is any news of Alan Wake 2 actually happening, we're going to learn about it once Remedy are done with Quantum Break. Before that, I don't see it happening. They have firmly stated that they are going to focus on finishing Quantum Break and releasing it, releasing it out there for us, the gamers. Don't you love full conversion mod? I know I do. If you don't know what a full conversion mod actually is, well, it is a mod for a game that fully remakes that game in one way or another. For example, the one I want to talk about today is called Skywind. And the point of it is to recreate a game called The Elder Scrolls 3. Morrowind? Yeah, I was about to say Skywind, but yeah. Into The Elder Scrolls IV Skyrim. How have they done that? Well, with this fourth official development video linked below, you can find out exactly what is happening. For one, I'm very excited about this, even though I didn't originally like Skyrim too much. I think that Skywind is a fantastic community-based project and it looks delicious, if I may say so. Actually, I can. It's my damn show. Anyway, the bloody mod looks amazing, even though it is... There is a lot of work to be done yet even though they have rebuilt many of Morrowind's original environments and models, and they have some amount of combat and questing in, and already functional, which is in itself quite impressive and absolutely insane, they have even recorded their own professional sounding voice acting, and so much more. You can see the official development video number 4 by clicking the link below. 
and if you want to volunteer because you have some kind of knowledge about 3D modeling, texture, artistry and many other skills in order to bring the project towards the finish line, you can do it by clicking on yet another link down below. So please do that if you are excited about this full conversion mod. And last but not least, if you are a fan of Forex games in the vein of Civilization, Masters of Orion, Endless Legend and so many more, you can head down once again to the description down below and click on the link that will lead you to Rock Paper Shotgun. There you will read an article called The Forex Genre Has Grown Stagnant, Here's How to Fix It. It's written by Rob Zachney and it discusses the problems that currently plague the forex genre and a few ideas on how they should be fixed. Honestly, I couldn't agree more. And while I still love all these games, I think that something needs to change for the betterment of us all. I could go on and on about what the forex genre is doing right and what it is doing wrong, but honestly, the article says it all and it says it a lot better than I could deliver it to you in a few short minutes. And now for a bit of unpaid promotion, in case you're a fan of Pathfinder or role-playing games, you know, old-style pen and paper I'm speaking about pen and paper in particular, you can head to the Humble Bundle store and grab the Pathfinder bundle right now. There are actually, in fact, two Pathfire, path, blah, Pathfinder bundles going on sale right now. The one I'm talking about is the Pathfinder pen and paper RPG bundle, which has over $350 worth of value for what is practically 15, 17 or 25 dollars depending on which tier you want to buy in. It's fantastic and if you're a fan of this kind of gameplay and if you have a group of people with whom you know that you are going to have a lot of fun playing in a make-believe world Please go ahead and buy it before it's over. Less than two days remain until the deal is done. The other deal, which is the Pathfinder comic book bundle, you can also buy, but it will be here for another seven, actually eight days, until I believe the, eight, the 15th of March. So if you're a fan of those, please go ahead and buy them. It's for charity, at least partly, so that's fantastic. Well done, guys. Anyway, thank you all for watching. I hope I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this by any chance, please like, share and subscribe. If not, well, what's wrong with you? Oh, and see you next time is just a figure of speech, right? I mean, we don't actually have to see each other. No offense. I mean, you know, I may be hideous and evil, and certainly with a weird, although very attractive accent. Bye!